Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Father Steve Connor of Holy Trinity Episcopal Church in Ocean City, New Jersey. I hope this day finds you in good health and spirits this Monday of the third week of Easter. And so as we gather together this morning, we gather in prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Jesus, we believe you. All we heard is true. You break the bread, we recognize you. You are the fire that burns within us. Use us to light the world. Hear this prayer for your love's sake. Amen. This past Sunday, the gospel was about the disciples on the road to Emmaus. And if you happened to pray morning prayer with us yesterday, you heard me talk about the fact that the disciples believed that the message of Jesus was, was gone, was over. That the dream that started in Galilee when he called his disciples and began his preaching was dead, was over. But then they meet this stranger on this ordinary walk to another town, Emmaus, and they meet this stranger who ends up coming in and sharing a meal with them, and their eyes were opened at the breaking of the bread. One of the things I think we're struggling with, I know I am in this mysterious, strange time in which we live, is this idea of I remember I, I, I referred to it in one of the videos as the twilight zone. That kind of, that space between what was, what is, and what will be. It's kind of, it's, it's hard to describe. Actually, what many theologians and other people talk about is this sense of liminal space. Liminal space is that space that is between what we've known and what we will know, and we're in between. We're not quite what we have known, and we're not quite where we'll end up, which is exactly where we are right now, in this liminal space. Now, for some of us, we can think of this as negative. We can think of this as negative, but, but in a sense, it's, it is uncomfortable, uh, disorienting, uh, lets us know again that we're not in control. Liminal space comes from the Latin word limens, which means threshold. So if we think of this liminal space as a threshold, thresholds are those places that lead us into some insight, some, some new insight, some epiphany, something that tells us something different either about ourselves or our world. It would seem to me at this time, in this time that we're living, many of us are probably reflecting a bit on our lives, on who we were before and who we will be after, because it will change. We know it will change. And I think of those disciples on the road but not just those disciples. The disciples still locked up in the room, afraid to go out. They're living in this liminal space, the space between the death of Jesus on the cross, the resurrection which they still don't understand, and so they hide, trying to orient themselves, when in reality, what they come to conclude is they're not in control. And in fact, no matter how many appearances Jesus has with them, they still don't understand. It's kind of like watching the news right now. I try not to, but I do. I watch the news and there are all these doctors giving their opinions. There are politicians giving their opinions. And where does the truth lie? Who do we know is telling us the truth. I believe that this is a job for scientists and medical people. They are the ones that can 
give us the information that we need. But even when they speak, they're only speculating on what might happen. What might happen if we open up? What might happen if we don't? What might happen if we find a vaccine? Will the virus reappear again this fall and winter? So there's a lot of stuff going on. And when we take it all in, it is disoriented. So let's begin reframing our thoughts about this. Let's reframe it in a way that is positive. Let us think of this time as a gift from God, this liminal space where we're able to reflect on who we are, what we believe, and where we're going, this threshold that we are on. And acknowledge that it's uncomfortable, at times it's depressing, it's frustrating, it can make us impatient and angry, and that's okay, as long as we know and believe that this is leading us to something new, that this is a threshold both for us and for our world. As many of you know, as you listen to these videos, is that I, I quote a lot from Richard Rohr. And Richard does a lot with this notion of liminal space. And I'm going to read to you now one of the things that he wrote about this. Liminal space is, it is when you have left or are about to leave, leave the tried and true but have yet been able to replace it with anything else. It is when you are between your old comfort zone and any possible new answer. If you're not trained in how to hold anxiety, how to live with ambiguity, how to entrust and wait, you will run from this. You will run to flee this terrible, terrible cloud of unknowing. Let's agree not to run from this moment. Let us agree to say to each other and support each other that God is giving us this grace and this time leading us to something else. And let us ask God in this liminal space, this threshold, to walk with us as he walked with the disciples on the way to Emmaus, to walk with us, to accompany us on this journey, so that when we recognize Jesus again in the breaking of the bread, we will also be walking into this new threshold of something new, something original, something filled with grace and the presence of our God. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Psalm 121. I lift my eyes to the hills from where is my help to come. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. May God grace us in this threshold that we now live in. Grace us with the perseverance and the patience to not just tolerate, not just get through, but to live fully during this liminal space that leads us through a threshold to a new beginning. May Christ, as he comes, deliver you from your guilt, anxiety, and resentment. May Christ be our new beginning, the hope and salvation of the world. 
Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you and scatter the darkness from your path. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you forever. Amen. I wish you a good Monday, and I wish you peace and joy in this liminal space in which we are living. Amen.